Lisa Verdejo here, nutrition and functional medicine health coach with your nutrition nudge. So today I'm gonna to be talking about something that's come up a lot in my client sessions recently, and that is about the immune system. So a couple of my clients have been bulldozed for the past couple of weeks, and yet others are remarking, hey, I can't believe I haven't gotten sick yet. So I thought it'd be a good time to talk about some nutrition that helps boost our immune system. Um, so, I'll be covering some vitamins and minerals, but I want to remind us all that food is medicine. So not only does it have micronutrients, but it's got medicinal properties. So I'm going to talk about three that you may or may not have heard of. Probably at the top of the list though is zinc. So zinc is important because it helps us express our genes that are of our immune system. And zinc generally helps us with cellular function, so it will overall help your body to keep on humming. So zinc is found predominantly in grass-fed beef or lamb, and in some plant-based resources, you can find it highly in cashews, um, pumpkin seeds, and chickpeas, to name a few. The second nutrient is selenium. So this mineral is antiviral, it's anti-cancer, and it also helps stem the natural aging process of our immune system as we get older. So selenium is handily found in Brazil nuts, just one or two a day to um, stay in strong preventative mood. Um, but you can also find selenium in salmon, beef, turkey, um, sunflower seeds, and ground rice as well. The third one is vitamin A. Oh, and by the way, vitamin D I would say is a given. But vitamin A is important because it helps with um, keeping our mucosal lining barriers strong. So where are our mucosal lining? Well, they're in our eyes, they're in our lungs, and in, along our GI tract. So vitamin A comes in preformed retinol, or it comes in non-preformed, which is the carotenoid. Um, retinol is more easily absorbed by the body, and so good sources of that would be um, meat, fish, eggs, liver. Um, and then the carotenoids are really highly sourced in um, deep yellow and uh, orange vegetables. So think sweet potatoes, carrots, and squash, to name a few. Um, if you consume these, your body has to do another step to convert it to retinol, but still by all means you're getting solid vitamin A. So I hope this is helpful for you. Um, I want to remind us that food is medicine. So if you think you're coming down with something or if you want to stay strongly in preventative mode, I highly recommend you increase your intake of these key nutrients, especially during this um, cold and flu season. Thank you so much for joining me. I'm Lisa Verdejo, nutrition and functional medicine health coach. Take care.